Well, first promoted to Serie A in ninth side, coming out on top in the summer, and they haven't lost a league game at home. Really fascinatingly set for the final game of the weekend. And let's remember as well that Stefano Pioli was born and raised in Parma, went to the Parma Academy before he moved to Juve in 1984 when he played with Paolo Rossi and more of him in a moment. And he coached Parma briefly, very briefly really, June 06 to February 07, his penultimate game almost inevitably a 1-0 defeat against Milan. But Pioli is being known as the, the normal one. Contrast to Mourinho across the city all those years ago, and he is getting the job done. He's immensely likeable, and he's exceptionally good, and he's vastly underrated. And if he could steer Milan to Serie A, what a story it would be. Our referee is uh, Francesco Forno from Rome. The referee who sent off Federico Chiesa in that game against Crotone, so he's extremely brave, that is for sure. We wait now for both teams to emerge. And David, commentators like me who didn't play the game, talk about momentum blithely as if it's just a, a thing, but what does it actually... <laughs> we focus, though. Not to be, though, on this particular occasion. Wound up by Caramo. 82 World Cup final. Capricive out there and perhaps very personal to us. The names do echo. And then the depressing footnote to that story. This man is Matteo Gabbia, but he's in some pain here. Making a sick start of the season already. Yet another excellent looking Italian centre half. They are concerned here though, you can see. Looks like the inside of that left knee, maybe. Let's have a look. Just a tad awkward, really, isn't it? Cornelius obviously reached Prague on Thursday night. Pierre Kalulu nearly arrived. Maturity to both of those players. And it goes from Rabic. It was a decent ball. And did he just wonder, could he have survived now? Probably yes. Behind for a corner. Forno deciding. In the... Now Ben Asser. Lovely feet, but really early. He gets another chance. Might just open up here. Chalanolu is loitering at the far post. Kalulu trying to stay with him here. He held him up, but Palmer in front. Javinho picked the pass. Anani finished. And the league leaders in trouble here. It's Liberani's men who strike first. Donnarumma's not happy at all, is he? Asking the questions of, well, quite simply, the whole of his defence. How on earth does Anani have the chance to take his time, really? He does hit it first time, but has so much space to be able to pick his spot. It's a great wing play by Jovino. I thought Kalula had done enough. It ends up going through the defender's legs as it bobbles back towards the edge of the 18 yard. Useful ball towards Rabic. Who is... So they'd fancy that they'd score here. They're looking to respond straight away with Chalanolu. All since October has Palmer in front. Now Chalanolu. Chalanolu. Teo Hernandez and down at the, the bottom right of your picture. Great skill again from Javinho and. Surely Caramo was offside. I'm not sure he was. Goes down as a chance. Final Wednesday, a couple of midweeks coming up for uh, for Serie A. Well, they have a free kick. Launched straight into the arms. It really well. Now Brahim Diaz back for Ante Rabic. Was looking at each other there. Oh. Here's Teo Hernandez though for Milan to drive it across. And Samu Castillejo with the equalising goal and the Palmer lead didn't last long. And Castillejo's rich vein of form continues. Four in five for him and 1 1 at San Siro. Well, coming on the goalkeeper looking at his defence, wondering what on earth they're actually doing. It's a wonderful barnstorming run forward. Nice little ball by Rabic. Castillejo. The more you wonder, in fact, he is going to go. He's not going to go and look, it was an offside. Goal and Olu. Now Rabic in that wide area again. Much more if they let hope. 
Now Calabria, that's beautifully worked, and it's take the corner. So far, it's been positive stuff from Palmer. That's a really good ball for Frank Kessi. What a challenge that is. As he turned and shot, space. Swinger from the praiseworthy, friendly one. In front of a, an empty stadium. And it goes from Ravich. If you're a Palmer fan, to ask the question, where's this performance been? Well, the team's been doing so badly in a season. Now, was that a, a late kick out there from Hernandez? Referee saw something. Shows him the card. Chalanolu. Oh. Calabria made a good run, and Castellejo curls one. And... Oh, it breaks through here for Ante Ravich. Another. Well, I can borrow some of that game. <laughs> and it goes from Chalanolu. And... That's much better. Brahim Diaz again to shape it. He's so unlucky in the follow up of the crew. Use that. Calabria. Now Teo Hernandez. Close can you come without scoring? And the yellow card. Slightly unfortunate. In from Chalanolu, great service, and what a... He's so unlucky in the follow-up of the crossbar again from Chalanolu, and then it bounces off Diaz. Well, to wrap his foot around that, Rabic, and what a header now. That immensely tight. Milan have another... In which Milan can potentially strike. It's Chalanolu! Chalanolu. Come desperately close on two occasions now, Ben. Javinho working hard there. They win it back, and there is the halftime whistle from Forno Palmer. Stefano Pioli just making sure that his substitutes know exactly what's needed from their first half. That looks comfortable in the game. Really well taken, opening goal for them. He hasn't, and there is the double change. Castellejo and Diaz are indeed the two who. Pioli then has made his. Wonder if now back with Rafael Leao. Oh, Super Bowl in and blue again. Milan just upping the tempo. Romagnoli in this second half as well. Oh, it's a clever ball from Rafael Leao for Chalanolu, who hits the wood. What about that for a chase from Anani? And Cornelius was there and then arriving late. Yasmin Kurtic, moment of high drama, and he met it so sweetly. Milan trail by two goals, and the miracle is on here for Parma. The league leaders now in desperate, desperate trouble. It was quite simply a tremendous goal. Shades of the opening goal in the first half where Milan got stretched. But who on earth is tracking Kurtic? And the answer is absolutely nobody. It's a glove. Benacer. Rafael Leao. Oh, we're going to have here in from Challen. No! And guided in by Teo Hernandez. Another goal for him against Palmer. Milan strike back straight away. It's a tremendous game of football, isn't it? I think we're enjoying each and every minute of this one so far. Chalanolu, quality from him has been prevalent. It's Calabria to pull it back. Rabic denied yeah! the follow-up. Drilled into the bottom corner. They have their hero. They have their equalising goal. The fullback comes good with two second-half goals. Teo and Andes and Milan now believe they can go on and win it. Come on, guys.